dear students i am dr j hima bindu from the department of mechanical engineering and i will be dealing the subject robotics and my today's topic is inverse dynamic control in robotics like these are the topics which are uh, which will be coming in the advanced robotics other than uh, studying about the generalized lagrangian or jacobian matrix or the different uh, applications of uh, robotics we will be dealing with the advanced topics like inverse dynamic control in robotics in today's session so firstly we need to know what do we mean by the inverse dynamic control what exactly uh, is inverse dynamic control which is inserted in the robotics why it is being used we need to know so here this is a technique which is used in robotics uh, which is uh, used to compute the necessary joint torques which is required for achieving a desired motion right in order to desire uh, in order to achieve a desired motion with respect to the uh, torque or with respect to the force we need to compute the necessary technical uh, control dynamics that is nothing but the inverse dynamic control which is uh, used in the robotic system right uh, this particular type of this uh, strategy is involved to calculate the torque with a trajectory or a motion of the robots and effector with the help of the trajectory or with the help of the motion of the robots and effector or we also can consider a joint right so when we are considering this particular dynamic control system in the robotic it includes the mass it includes the inertia and it also includes the external force like gravity or friction right like gravity or friction now this particular inverse dynamic control is a technique which is used in robotics where we will be calculating the uh, torque and the force with the help of the motion or the trajectory motion of the end effector or it may be uh, of a particular joint manipulator now this is including uh, the mass inertia external force like gravity or friction right now in this particular inverse dynamics the inverse dynamics is a process to determine the force and the torque right the inverse dynamics is a process which is used to determine the force and the torque where it requires uh, the desired motion given to the robot kinematics and dynamics right it is generally being given to the robots kinematics and the dynamics now this particular constraint with forward dynamics where the motion is calculated based on the force and the torque this particular forward dynamics is used to calculate based on the force and the torque right so generally uh, uh, the dynamics of a robot are described by the equation related to the joint position velocity acceleration and force or torque acting on the joints as if uh, as we have discussed in the general uh, generalized equation right so this particular dynamics is used to find out the uh, uh, find out the position or velocity or acceleration or the force and the torque acting at the joints or the manipulator so this equation is been taken into account the robot mass distribution on inertia or correlates and the centrifugal force and external forces like gravity right so these are also used to Uh, in the equations for the robot dynamics now the control laws which we will be considering in the inverse dynamic control in robotics is that the inverse dynamic control the control law is used to describe or to cancel out the effects of the dynamic uh, robot natural dynamics leaving only the desired motion leaving out only the desired motion and it also is used uh, it also involves calculating the desired joint acceleration or the trajectory and then using this particular inverse dynamics to compute the necessary torque right so this particular control law is uh, typically involves calculating the desired joint acceleration from the desired trajectory and then using the inverse dynamics to compute the necessary joint torque
Now, coming to the trajectory tracking, how do we do uh, the tracking to the trajectory motion? So, this is also one of the important concept in the inverse dynamics. Like, uh, when we are... Uh, in the robot motion, the trajectory tracking is very important. That is, it often plays a very important role in the inverse dynamic system. So here, the goal of this particular trajectory tracking is to have a predefined path. That is, we need to initially have a predefined path in which direction the robot has, a robot's end effector or the joints have to move. That is known as the trajectory planning. That is, it, we should have a goal which is already been predefined. That is, we are already thinking about the path planning and then only we are inserting that particular program to the robot with the help of which the robot starts moving. That is known as the trajectory tracking. So, this is a continuous computer Operational pro, uh, uh, property where the necessary torque to correct any deviation from the desired trajectory is very important. Right. So one uh, common implementation of inverse uh, coming to the torque control. One of the uh, important concept in inverse dynamic control is to compute the torque control where the required torques are computed directly from the inverse dynamics of the uh, required robot joint or when we have to precise the control of the robot motion but requires a, a, a accurate knowledge of the robot dynamics this particular method is very important right in order to uh, achieve a uh, 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 accurate knowledge of the robot dynamic parameter the computed torque control uh, is very important one of the vital which plays a one of the vital role in the uh, inverse dynamic control system in the robots Right. What are the various applications which involve inverse dynamics in robot? That is, robot man generally it is used near the manipulator of the robot, or it is generally used for the humanoid type of the robot, or it is uh, even used for the mobile type of the robot. So, in what sense are we using for the robot manipulator? That is also very important. So, here we are using this in a uh, wide range of uh, near the wide range of robot arms or uh, which is used to require the precise movements such as assembly, painting and uh, generally you know, the surgeries, right? Uh, near the assembly operations or near the painting operations or generally in the health insurance like surgeries and all. Uh, in that particular robot manipulator place, we use this particular inverse dynamic controls in the robot. Or when we come across uh, mimicking the human movement in order to give a proper human movement or when we need to have an inverse dynamic control is very crucial for ensuring that the it is natural and stable motion right and in the legged type of the robot the inverse dynamic helps in calculating the necessary forces at the joints to achieve the stable walking and running of the human uh, running of the mobile robot so these are the three applications which are very important when we consider the inverse dynamic control in the robot that is robot manipulated humanoid robot and mobile robot right so considering all this uh, in the robot arm there is a need to move the end effector along some particular uh, uh, path that is whether to pick the object or place the object or to move the uh, or to handle the pro uh, objects from one place to the other that is in large scale industries when we are using this particular inverse dynamic control it becomes very useful and is very cost efficient it will reduce the time consumption these are the important advantages with the inverse dynamics control in the robot right so this particular system would calculate the required joint or as we have known we are calculating the torque or the force of the uh, near the robot joint or manipulator right so here uh, uh, we are using a desired trajectory precise which is taking into the account the effect of the gravity, inertia and other dynamic forces. With the help of these particular dynamic forces, this particular control system will be acting. This is the field which is advancing towards more adaptive and robust inverse dynamic. This is one of the field which is increasing day by day. We are been adopting this particular type of the control system in robotics because it is, uh, uh, it is making the work easier. Right. This particular type of the control system is making the work easier and simplifier. So this is the upcoming uh, uh, 
trend or we can tell upcoming advancing advancement which we are adapting to have a good uh, control in the robotics near the manipulator or near the joint with the help of the dynamic factors like gravity inertia force torque etc acceleration etc right now uh, this but uh, integrating this per, um, uh, machine learning techniques is also being explored towards the capabilities of these uh, control systems like exploring you uh, know in uh, inserting a uh, advanced uh, technology like machine learning into this particular control system is also uh, becoming an advantage or it is also uh, getting adapted in uh, into this particular control inverse dynamic control system right uh, coming to the model accuracy real time conception or sensitivity to the disturbances these are considered as few of the challenges right these are the challenges which we are considering that is more accuracy we need to take care of the accuracy that is is it giving it uh, is uh, are we getting a correct accuracy that is the effectiveness of the control system relies on the uh, heavy duties on the accuracy of the robot dynamic models any dissipation can lead to poor control performance or the computation involves involving is used in inverse dynamics are complex and are must performed in the real time required efficiency algorithm and computational resources or when we come across the robot nature dynamics it can be sensitive to use this particular type of the model uh, dynamics for extension distribution leading to instability so these are the few challenges which we need to take care of when we are uh, adapting this inverse dynamic into the robot that is model accuracy are we getting a correct accuracy or when we are considering the real time computation are we getting the accurate computational resources are we getting the required efficient algorithms uh, where we can apply it in the real time computation or the sensitivity to the disturbances how uh, is the robot taking the disturbances in what are the natural disturbances occurring and what are the external or the model dynamic disturbances occurring and how can we uh, come across these challenges that is known as the sensitivity to the disturbances so these are the uh, so references which we have gone through for this particular slide in today's class we have discussed about the various challenges coming across the inverse dynamic control in robotics and what are the uh, required important points when we are uh, adapting this uh, control system in the robotics which we have seen and what are the various application where we are using this particular type of the system and what do we mean by computational torque or control or the trajectory tracking what do we mean by that we have seen and the robot dynamics and control rows and the generalized equation what is exactly the inverse dynamic control system right so this is all for today signing off for today dr ji hima bhai thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates